My favorite moment from the major is definitely uh, our series against Alpine, like the game five. Whenever we get to match points like this, and, and we got to the full length of the series, I always got to look at the veterans in this kind of situation. You have Torment and Gimmick, who have been in countless high-stress situations like this. Alpine still coming up in the world, in the Rocket League world, trying to make their mark. But this is where the nerves really start to get you. Right? Probably my favorite moment from the major that I can just think of off the top of my head would have to be the Game 5 OT versus Alpine. Torment zero second save. That's like the moment that I think sticks out most to me. They were about to, I think I had like a really good opportunity to spawn zero seconds. But then like Tor like pulled like an incredible save to like save the game. He, like pitched it up on the crossfire, killed the ball. Has a lane and underneath gimmick doesn't have to touch it. Torment picked up the save. Percy, one more chance to whip it around. Jordan might get another look. Pass oh, the magic beer, shots on target. Oh. It's blocked off the crossbar to overtime. And then we ended up winning. I think gimmicks ended up scoring the overtime winner. And then that's how we won the series. I thought that was like pretty insane. <laughs> this game has just gone crazy. As this one off the back wall, magic bear there to clear it away. Oh, Kahn might have a shot. He's got a lane. Gimmick's Gimmick. there. And there it is. Version one, continue the climb. They take down Alpine. And the whole overtime, it was just super, pretty stressful, but it was a lot of fun. And then when we ended up scoring, we all went crazy in comms. And Our biggest takeaways are definitely like seeing that we could actually beat some teams. It showed that we had potential to be top eight, top six, you know? So I think that's really just the biggest takeaway from all of us, all three of us. We honestly didn't really have any bad series besides maybe the last one against peeps but overall we're pretty we're pretty happy and i'm pretty happy with how we played as a team trust me i hear what you're saying but i like it's new what you're telling me i'm curious george i hop in the porsche there's five and a horse i'm ready for war i'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost i need to know everything i need to know everything who in the what in the where i need everything trust me i hear what you're saying but i like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws. Just turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Yeah, so we have 20 teams battling it out. So when you have 20 teams, you can't really make a nice bracket. So we decided to go into group stage where five teams in each group, they will battle it out to see where they wind up later on throughout the tournament. With like a top 20, it's uh, there's definitely like a lot of good teams. Like every team's going to be good, which is why I like to adapt the place or the mindset that you have to go into every match just trying to win new like that's it just like focus on winning and that's it because like every team can probably beat you and i feel like every team knows that too like it's gotten to the point where it's like 50 50 on every team i think going into the first regional i was pretty confident we'd been playing pretty well recently after reviewing the major so i think going into it we were definitely expecting at least top eight and we're probably expecting to do better and version one has been cleaning house. They've taken out Space Station multiple yep. times recently, yep. but the one team they can't beat is the Peeps. For some reason, they can't get by them, but they can beat teams above the Peeps. They just can't take them down. Every time they've played in the past three months, they have lost to the Peeps. So version one mm. desperately wants this one. Like we we were doing like our warm up lobby, like we usually do, and their name was like, you know, their clan tag still the Peeps, and their team name was the Peeps. And we loaded into the actual game before we're about to join and everything changed the phase. I, I had no idea that this was the announcement. We're sitting here in the game lobby, right? The peeps loaded into this practice lobby achieves as the peeps, <laughs> and they changed it right now. I wanted the video happen, I went, wait, and I looked back over and all their names are phased. I was so confused. I was like, what just happened? Like, I, I think I was the first one to point out, I'm like, wait guys, what is it? why is their team in phase right now? We were just like, like, they're really doing this right now. So it's kind of funny, but I don't think it affected us that much, honestly, it was just kind of, it's kind of cool to like be in their debut game, I guess. Here comes Com for round two. The set up the gimmick, and Ooh. he puts it through. We'll go to game five. Misdirection and interference. Oh. Com is floating. Oh. AJ's there, and that's wow. gonna do it. Face Clan are gonna win their first game. It feels like every time we play them, we have trouble with our com communication. Like we just double came up a lot, and like so many unfortunate things happen because like we're not in the right spots, and it's just. It sucks. Envy versus version one. Version one has been on the up and up Shogun right now. They're looking pretty solid. Envy though, one of the most consistent teams in North America. Yeah, so the Envy match, I mean, obviously it wasn't even close being like brutally honest. I think individually that day, I remember I was playing bad. I even tweeted like team kind of, the, the team kind of carried me because I was definitely slumping. Like, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do most of the series. Uh, I think we only had two series against them and Ghost, but yeah, I don't think I played well in either. And, you know, definitely hurt us. I think I think we all three of us need to be playing at our peak to even like keep keep it close against Envy like we had before. I remember they were playing really well. I remember it was I was like 
everything was just like every pass everything was just like going in their favor every 50. it's hard to stop a team when they're like when they're playing like that it's re it really is but the only way you can really do that is if, if you're playing at the same level they are the same skill level uh but we weren't that day uh, and it should Envy did that brilliantly. Version one, oh, gonna get taken nice. down. Team Envy will move on to the playoff round. That is unreal. 15 and two. I was pretty confident going into the Ghost match. Um, for Especially for this regional, we actually warmed up a lot with them, so. We, we kind of knew what to expect. We know how to play against them. So we've got version one taking on Ghost for a chance to play G2 tomorrow here at Chiefs. Eight seconds left. Gimmick looking for one last opportunity. Oh, Finds corner. a bump on a goalie. Tournament's going to need a few touches though to gain control of this, and the clock will expire. Can they keep the it in the air? Gimmick's up for it, but so is Lion Place. Oh, oh, wow. wow! The buzzer beater! No way! Version one, knock him out in four. We've been through a knockout gauntlet. Gibbs, what the heck are we doing today? Easy. Eight teams, just a bracket, one life, nice. and that's it, and you're done. Best of sevens, though, throughout the whole day. Very long day here, but we got our top eight teams. They battled out through groups, through a knockout gauntlet, just to get down to a simple bracket where you have one life left. So everyone, they're on the same foot. Comes down. Do you win three series today and walk away champions? In that G2 series in our, in our quarterfinal matchup, we went down 3-0, but I remember after each game, it was like we were, I think it was like we lost each game by a goal. And on top of that, I felt like we were playing better than them every game. I felt like we were getting very, I remember even saying that, talking with the guys after every game, like I didn't even tell them to change how they were playing, even when we were down 2-0, 3-0, because it felt like we were still, or the way we were playing was like going well. It was just like, we were just getting unlucky with like, they were getting like a couple of lucky goals and, um, we were just getting unlucky with like, hitting the post a bunch of times and crossfire. We had a lot of pressure. So I didn't, even, I kept saying, like, just play the same way because it felt like we were playing well. It was just things were falling into our, our favor. And every single one of these games, Turtle, you think that version one very well could have turned this around, but now they find themselves down three. They're going to have to reverse sweep. Even though we were down 03, we were still pretty confident, though, since we had been playing like really well regardless. So we just needed to. We, we were just going to try to iron out those mistakes and continue playing at the level that we were playing at. We were keeping it super close and they were just ended up, ended up like, we're, they were just able to take it, right? And like, we definitely had a chance to win all three of those games and we didn't. Yeah. Version one just needs something to go their way, whether it's a 50 50, a pinch, something. Before the game four, I, every time I'm in that situation where we have to reverse sweep, I always just tell myself, with like one game at a time, I always try to tell my teammates too, because that's really. It's either we get eliminated or we make the run. I'd, ma I'd rather make the run, so I always say, like, just one game at a time, you know, next game I shouldn't worry about, I just worry about the first one. Where the bounce is exactly what he's looking for to go out and keep him still alive in the series and the demo. This has got to go in, of course it does. Gimmick, the follow-up, and they stay alive in this series. And they're trying to stop version one from getting a reverse sweep in a best of seven game. Rizzo. Right back towards Gimmick. JNAP's oh. upfield. Com will turn off the ceiling. Torment the shot up. from Torment. Going for the shot. Far post. Torment. Far post. A clutch shot. Two seconds shy of the eight minute mark. Version one are sending it to game seven. So I actually called for fire to call timeout um, after game six because I, I personally didn't think that I could just like go from an eight minute over time, 10 minutes without scoring, and then into a super hype moment and just hop straight back into a game. I wanted to take a sec, get a breather. Um, and I, I know that you can, there, there's an argument that can be made that this was like a bad decision because it ruined our momentum or whatever, but I think it was probably more important in the moment just to kind of relax and not get too, uh, too caught up in the moment and just like mentally uh, set up for the game seven. But version one have battled back multiple overtime wins. And now they find themselves oh. on the brink of victory. We definitely had momentum because we were the we were on the verge of reverse sweeping them, but it it wasn't enough. We we fell apart at the end a little. Caught on the sidewall. Taking his got? time. 
Going into the air, stopped by Rizzo. Final chance, Torment. To the corner. To the midfield. Kong to Gimmick. Gimmick, Gimmick can't keep it in the air. And G2 fend off the reverse sweep from version one. So, I mean, pretty unfortunate, but I think the take the positive takeaway from that is that we were able to come down from Rio, which is like very hard to do. Like you don't, the fact that we were able to even bring it to game seven going down through Rio, I think that shows a lot about our mental. I mean, we're just gonna look back, see what we can improve on and look forward to the three. Like I wasn't too, I was kind of disappointed after the series. I think we all were, cause obviously it felt like it was a series we could have won after having that much momentum, but you know, they, they ended up just clutching on game seven, which seems like seems like one of our problems is like we don't play the same in game seven as we do in the other six games. So that was mostly what I was thinking, like thinking like, how can we just play the same in game seven and end up taking these series? Because we clearly, I mean, we played all right. Like they only scored one goal, but we like our offense clearly wasn't as good as it was you know, in the games before that. Overall, I think we did pretty good. I'm not sad about our results, our losses. I feel like recently we've been showing some promising results that you know it really shows like what we're capable of as a team so that's finally it's good to finally see that type of stuff um i think we're just kind of inconsistent with our play style sometimes like in the envy series um sometimes in that g2 series like at the start we weren't and even when we played our tiebreaker against charlotte like there's just times where we don't play like how we usually do we're playing our best we're really good at like keeping control of the game and like keeping it in our hands major takeaways from the first week i think now i think it's very set in stone that we're consistent top i would say we're a top six team at this point. but i think it's very promising considering the progress we've made in the, over the past split from from fall to, to what was it winter major improvement and then winter now to the spring we're still showing improvement top four is definitely in our reach going forward one game one goal off of top four um in this most recent regional um and I think that's definitely a pretty realistic goal and definitely a goal that we are, are capable of achieving at like at least at least in one of these events, maybe in more. I feel like we need to work on just like our, kind of like our individual matchups versus these top scenes because each one of them plays a little bit different. And I think we just need to understand how to play versus each one of the, uh, one of these teams because I feel like we play them and then we you know, have to switch up the play style for someone else. I just think we need to kind of perfect our own play style a little bit more um, so we can kind of just play kind of the same way versus majority of these teams and make slight adjustments for say we're playing a phase or playing a road that but for the most part I think we're getting there slowly uh, each tournament like I said we're getting better and better we're finding out new stuff that we should be doing so it's definitely really promising.